Now then, YouTube, I am the tough man. Shed man. And uh, welcome <laughs> back. Yes. <laughs> oh, the Matmos. I'm just proper slapping you. With Matmos installed. There is sound effects and everything. I can't hear it. I'll hear it when, I, when the video comes back. Yeah, you will. You will. <laughs> Three minutes later. Chop your head off, everything. No, don't chop my head off. No, that's Lame, that's, that's it's gone. A bit too far. Gone. That's gone a bit too far. Anyway, Shed, um, would you like to take a look at the uh, disconnected? Um, what, what the fuck's this called now? Matter fabricator. Would you like to take a look inside there? Yes, I would very much so. Fucking look at that bastard. Fifteen. 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 You, uh, you, you matters. <laughs> Fifteen! Fifteen subscribers! <laughs> Fifteen you, ma y you, you matter. Fifteen you, you matter. Now, guys who um, are watching this on YouTube, this took about, round about a day and a half, if not nearly two days, worth of me leaving the server on. I shit you not. This took a long fucking it time. It did take a long, long time. It took an insane amount of time. So, we come to the conclusion we're not putting enough fucking power into this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really take that long to come to that conclusion, to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to be a genius to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Um, and we have a plan, don't we, Shed? We have a plan to make we this do. just a little bit better. We do. I'll let you say what you're going to get on with, and then I'll mention what I'm going to get on with. Okay. Well, I, personally... I'm going to get on with making a nuclear reactor. I think it's about time that I branched into the nuclear side of things, and uh, I'm going to make a nuclear reactor ship. And the nuclear reactor is going to do what, tough man? The nuclear reactor is going to be pumped into the other side of this matter fabricator to allow for... Let me just look at the reactor design again, because it's not me who's made it, because I'm too thick to fucking come up with anything like this. 420 <laughs> EU per tick is going to be going into this yeah. with a total of 84 million EU. Brilliant. That's exactly what we need for something like the metal fabricator. That is definitely something that what we need for this. Um, if, in fact... But I don't think I don't think a nuclear reactor on its own will be enough. No, I don't think so, Shed. Which is why what I'm going to do, if you just step over this back wall and look at the lava tanks, Yes. what I'm going to do and what we worked out last night was get a whole wall along these lava tanks of geothermal generators powered with liquid ducts to fill up with the lava. Yes. Um, and if we get a whole wall of them fill it, you know, full with lava, charging the matter fabricator, we worked it out at about 600 EU per tick that yes. would produce. On top of the 400 and odd EU per tick the other one would produce, yes. which means we're producing over 1,000 EU per tick powering the matter fabricator. Exactly. Egg. Zack. Lee. Now, uh, we do at some stage, even though we're going to be doing a, a big wall of geotherms, we will at some stage probably want to get rid of these buildcraft tanks in favour of a railcraft tank, but, and this is a big but, um, the, uh, the thing is that the nuclear reactor is going to take a shit ton of resources. I am not fucking kidding you. It is going to take a shit ton of resources. I don't think it's much in the way of iron, although it's going to take quite a bit of refined iron, but I believe it's going to take a shit ton of copper. Yes. I believe so. <laughs> so, why don't, we, why don't we both get on with what we're going to be doing? And uh, I I'm will, already uh, on with it. I will explain also what's happened in the latest version of the launcher, even though this is probably going to be going out in about three weeks' time, so people probably will already know by then. But uh, 5.9... Oh, we need an ender pearl in the thing of bobbins. I'll sort that out. Yes, we uh, do. And... Pfft, what was I talking about? Solitica 5.9 came out not so long back. Oh, shit, we've only got any iron. I'm going to change some diamonds into iron. A full stack yeah. of diamonds. Needs to be done. <laughs> yeah. Ah, falling off the stairs. So, Solitaire 5.9 came out, and that basically allows... Pe you didn't put the fucking thing back, did you? It's it's in the autocrafting table downstairs. 
some slap and spy. Confusing me. Uh, I, just need, I need to adjust my sound settings as well. Oh my god, this is going to be actually quite a lot. Uh, so anyway, uh, Solitaire Craft 5.9 came out, which basically allowed me to create um, server configurations or mod pack configurations, but it also allows me to create packs within packs, and that's exactly what's been happening uh, with Solitaire Craft in this latest update. Is uh, why the hell am I doing it in this? I need to move it to the project table. Um, and what's happened in this latest update to SolidCraft is I've separated out quite a few different kinds of packs. Um, there is like a, a a technology pack which basically includes all the technology mods that are involved. Oh shit! I've run out of space. That are oh fuck! Even though the end of the end of things run out of fucking space and all. <laughs> Look at fucking what's no. going on in here. How the fuck's it ended up like this? I'm going to need more than that, aren't I? It's not taking the iron. Um, I'll do it myself. But anyway, um, technology mods are all in what's called Toff's Tech. There is also a um, Toff's Tech g up, which includes Greg Tech, which is quite obvious. Uh, Greg Tech. <laughs> but that's why I did it. I did Being the one with exactly the same mods, but without Greg Tech. Because I know some people don't like that, so... Um, yeah, there is that, and there's also the Toffs Microtech, which is a very, very small version of the technology mods. Basically, it's just like uh, a whole bunch of the normal tech mods that people play, like Red Power and Forestry and Buildcraft and, you know, the normal run-of-the-mill ones. Um, and yeah. there's also, Shed, also is the magic pack, which I'm going to be covering with you at some point, I don't know when, but, um, I, well, not a big playthrough, it's just rather than, you know, a show off, basically. But this magic pack no, includes yeah. mods yeah. that aren't available within Solitaire itself, so you can't actually get to these mods unless you're playing the, um, the pack. Holy shit, what's going on? Unless you're playing the magic pack, you can't actually get to these mods. So... I'm pretty happy. Oh, I've, hang on a minute. I'm still in cheat mode here. What's going on? That's what happens when you have. Oh, my, actually. No, the update does it. It's uh, because it resets your settings or something like that, I think it is. I'll have to sort that out at some stage. Uh, so, yeah, there is the magic pack. There is also what's called, I like to call it actually, is Vanilla Plus. Now, that can be actually played on Peaceful as well because there is the addition of the Peaceful pack in there. You can play it on Peaceful and you will get some of the recipes that you could get. Um, you know, for string and for spider eyes and stuff that you get from mob drops where quick, you wouldn't normally get mob drops in peaceful. Yep. Do we have an induction smelter? No. So how am I supposed to make liquid ducts? Well, you meant to make the induction induction smelter. <laughs> and Greg Tex probably had that. <laughs> Just to piss you off a bit. No, I don't think he has, actually. I don't think he's literally changed any of the recipes for thermal expansion, although I'm not entirely sure. Let me just go thermal. Uh, look, no, what am I doing? Oh, Invar. What's Invar ingots? Never um, heard of them before. They, well, I think you can use ferrous ingots as well. No, it's not changed then. Oh, hang on a minute. No idea how to get Invar ingots, though. Not the industrial blast, oh, ferrous think, ingots in the industrial yeah. blast furnace. I think it's ferrous, uh, it's something to do with ferrous ore, or ferrous ingots or something. Don't tell me we ain't got any ferrous. I'm sure we've got some ferrous kicking around. Hmm. Two iron and a ferrous. Or two iron and a nickel, have we got any nickel? No. Uh, we might have actually. Yes we do, 22 down here. I'm looking at the thing now. Anyway, YouTube, um, there is certain things that I'm going to want to craft. Um, I have a little shopping list that I've written out in front of myself. I really wish in any eye, come on, come on, chicken bones. Let's get a little shopping list where you can click the items and it will give you a list of shit that you need. And when you've got the shit, it will tick it off. Come on, why? That's like, surely that would be easy for a ledge like yourself. Come on. Anyway, um, I do have, I did have iron on me. Oh no, I took it out, didn't I? 
No, I might as well get two of them. Uh, but I've got a shopping list of stuff in front of me, and that's going to require uh, one reactor and six reactor chambers. That's the first thing that I'm going to be getting into right now. So let's uh, firstly populate our thing down here. Our oh chunk. no, I can't do that. What? Our chunk loader for another 24 hours there with two ender pearls. With the iron and the uh, the nickel, I can't do that. Why? Because I need to do that in an induction smelter. <laughs> so, I'm sure so we how had am I supposed to get this? I'm sure we had ferrous kicking around somewhere. I'm sure we did. Hmm. Go and have a look around in the uh, chests down there. I'm sure we had something kicking around for Ferris. I really am sure. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the uh, w uh, one reactor. I'm going to do the reactor first because that actually requires reactor chambers. Oh no, that, mm, probably going to do reactor chambers then first. That's actually probably easy. I need nine machine blocks. Um, and I don't think that's in the crafting grid. No, it's not. Oh, we've got nine ferrous ore. Refined iron, where's res... Oh, there's only 34 refined iron. I'm going to have to put a couple of stacks of refined iron in, because I'm going to need a lot of this refined iron actually going forwards. So let me put that in the powered furnace, along with that there, and let that cook up. Which I was just about to use, and now you're nicking it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Right, I need nine machine blocks, which in turn is eight iron. So oh no wait, let me let me pulverize the ferrous off first. What's eight times nine, Shed? Eight times nine, seventy two. Oh, I ain't got anywhere near enough refined iron. <laughs> I'll be back, guys, when I've got the refined iron. Alright guys, I think we've got enough refined iron now. If we have a look down here, we've got a stack in a little bit. Uh we'll take that stack for the moment. We're gonna need nine machine blocks. So you said that was 70 what? 72? Did you say it was? Pardon? 72 is 9 times 8. Yeah. That's oh, 74 there, so let's put that back and get in that. Um, and we'll use the project table upstairs because it's much easier. Get that around there like that. And that on there. Nine. Lovely. Nine machine. Why have I got an extractor module just hanging out in my inventory? Um, there's a lot of shit in this fucking thing here. Why is it not getting sorted, man? We've got a little bit of copper in there, a bit of tinnage, some olive olivine, loads of seeds. Chris. Linking books to the overworld. What? There is no way to get ferrous ingots. Without having nine ferrous ore, or eight ferrous, seven ferrous ore, sorry. Why is that? Because you, um, you need seven ferrous ore, one coal and a minium stone to make seven ferrous ingots. But if you put ferrous ore in the smelt, in anything to smelt, you get a nickel ingot. If you put it in a pulverizer, you get nickel dust. If you put it in the induction smelter, you get nickel. Uh, I wonder if that's the right you get nickel. Great text probably fucked about it. So I can't, I can't physically do this without getting more ferrous ore, which is ridiculous. What the induction smelter? Yeah. What do you need? Two invar ingots. Yeah, and I need ferrous because I can't get. Yeah, um, how many different types is there? There's just the two different types, okay. Um, and that, of course, is got through smelting. And then the you can get one ferrous ingot. You can't get ferrous ingots at all. No. Not without having nine, uh, seven ferrous are and I've only got four now smelted one. Yeah but does that because of Greg Tech does that uh, overwrite that as well? Because I know he overwrites quite a lot of stuff so there must 
There's got to be a way. What it cha what does it keep changing it into? Nickel. Nickel. Nickel dust. Yeah, uh, or or a nickel ingot if um, I put it in the smelter. Okay. Um, well, do two iron dusts. And one nickel dust gets you three invar dusts. Where did you find that? Ah, well, you see, I'm a ledge. Two iron dust and what? One nickel dust? Two iron dust or pulverized iron or whatever it is that you want to use. And one nickel gets you three invar dusts. And so not one, nic one nickel dust or one nickel? One nickel dust and two iron dusts. Okay. So there you gets go. you one invar. Yes. Oh, so it says. But Do you need the likes. minion stone with that? No. Just normalness. Normalness. Alright, guys. Well, uh, the next thing I need to do is to get 288 copper. Holy crap. Um, because I need to get 36 dense copper plates. And these require 8 copper apiece. And in here we have over a thousand, so that's good. Um, let's get 288 then. 288, request. Let's see if we can fit it all in my inventory, that is. Should be able to, pretty easy. And all this needs to actually go in the compressor as well, so is, a, is that seriously only 288? Wow. Have that or have run out of energy here, but no, we haven't. Did that work? Shed, did that work? Did what work? Yeah, sorry, yeah, it did. Good stuff. Let's go over here to the compressor. I shove a stack in there. Oh, bloody hell. Right, let's go and get that uh, overclockers from outside, out of the recycler. Don't need them in there at the minute anyway. I hate waiting that long for stuff, and that's for sure. With uh, new updates comes new mods, and um, I suppose with these new mods, there's one I actually want to get into relatively soon on the server, and that is Bibliocraft. Shed, you've probably already seen the... Uh, well, you have, because he was here when he watched it. Um, the yep. mod spotlight that I did on Bibliocraft... Just I a really indeed. nice, neat way of uh, storing your items. I like that. A lot. It is ledge. And uh, there's also Tinkerer's Construct. Um, I think Applied Energistics was added before I last came on the server on this one. Um, cube bots. There's been numerous ones, guys. If you just look on the change log um, over at atlauncher.com go to packs and then click on SolidCraft and you can see the change log for SolidCraft on there that will tell you what's been added over the last previous versions that we've been using uh, but I'm looking forward to getting to a bit of, bit of bibliocraft anyway guys I'm going to leave it a little while I'm going to get these done, these dense copper plates done um, off camera and I'll be back alright guys you can see I'm just getting an advanced circuit I'm going to need one of these for these uh, for the what? What is it? I need it for? I ain't got a fucking clue. <laughs> no think, idea. Oh no, I've got it written down, so it must be for something. I think it's for the reactor. So there we are, guys. I've got one advanced circuit for the reactor. All right, guys, we are back. We've got 36 dense copper plates. I've got the machine block. I've got the advanced circuit, and I've also got the generator, which I managed to pick up through uh, the wonders that is the uh, request pipe, um, and. We need to uh, get on with it, so let's have a look at reactor chambers. We need nine of these guys. Reactor chambers, so you can see four dense copper plates with the machine block in the middle. So let's get the machine block there, and the dense copper plates are on the outside. 
just have enough, right, which has worked out well, which is quite obvious. Uh, and we also then need the reactor itself. So that is three reactor chambers, a generator, and an advanced circuit. So that's where the advanced circuit came from. That in there, one, two, three in there, generator on the bottom, and we have the nuclear reactor. So, where do we actually want to put this? Um, somewhere where it can get power to the matter fabricator, really. Yeah. It's just where to actually put it. Um, hmm, I could do it out the back here. I suppose. It'll obviously need a little room building around it. Not the not the kind of thing you leave open to the atmosphere. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> now, um, this one should be a, a pretty safe reactor. It shouldn't blow up at all. There should be no heat that's generated, uh, no excess heat that's generated that isn't dissipated. But uh, I think that this is a really good place to put it and then have the wire coming in through the wall here. So what I'm going to do off camera, guys, here is just um, start to fill up some of these, well, fill up this this uh, hill that we've got here and um, start building myself just a small room to put this thing in so alright guys I will be back alright guys we're back I've uh, done only a little room like I said it doesn't need to be blast proof or anything like that because really this shouldn't be blowing up um, this is where the reactor is going to be placed and what it's exactly going to look like so let's get rid of this actually this, uh, this dirt and let's get in the reactor chambers we want one. We want one reactor. Oh, you can't actually place it down yet until you got the nuclear. Reactor. Is the nether loaded? Do you know? I have no idea. I don't think it is actually. So there's one. Sixteen. There's another. There's another. There's another. There's another. And then the one on the front. Boom. And if we enter it, we can now see the nuclear reactor space. So, this is the start of the nuclear reactor, and, um, well, it only gets more resource intensive from now on, because we're going to need 7 quadruranium cells, 11 component heat vents, 28 overclocked heat vents, and 1 component heat exchanger, which, um, eat up copper like you would not believe. Luckily, we do have enough for this build, so that's good. And, um... I'll get on with those things right now and show you guys exactly what we're going to be needing to uh, to craft. So let's pop over here. And uh, we're going to need, for the seven quadruranium cells, we're going to actually need uranium cells to start with, which um, are done with cells and uranium, which is pretty obvious. Um, if we have a look at how much uranium we've got, I haven't looked at this. I think I'm sure. About 20 odd. I'm sure we worked out we've got enough. No, well, we've got 52, but we've got enough. We needed uh, 28. Oh, we need 20 odd, sorry, we've got, yeah, yeah. got it the wrong way around. Um, that means I'm going to need the powered furnace for a minute. That's 28 uranium ores. Oh no, it's not the furnace, is it? It's the compressor that I'm going to need. Yeah. I need to compress it into refined uranium. So let's pop that in there. I'm just going to make a load of more tanks and um, fill them tanks up, you know, then up to the full brim tree. Flush to the roof, sorry, with lava. Okay. Uh, which means I'll run into the nether and, re and load the nether up, provided my game doesn't reason, crash, this is not which I do doing. For some reason, this is just not sorting anything out. I don't know why. Um, but it just doesn't seem to be sorting anything into the chests, which is slightly annoying. Um, but I can't really do anything. Because you've got a full chest of dirt here, and it's just not going into it. And uh, these wooden blocks, I've got some wood in there and it's just not going into it, so I don't know what's going on there, guys. Um, whoops, bit of laggage there. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just coming back from the nether, that's probably why. Ah, yeah, that's probably definitely why. Oop. Are you back yet? Um, yes, I think, I don't know, I don't know whether I'm back or whether I'm going back to the nether, I don't know where I am anymore. Yeah, you're back. I can see you back. Um, right, cells. Well, I, do, I can't see me back. Oh, I've got a reboot. Most probably. 
Anyway, let's um, get some tin. We're going to need some tin for this. I think 16 tin should be alright. I think it's 8 cells per craft, so that's going to be more than enough. And the refined uranium's coming in there, so that's good. Yeah, it's 8 per crafting. So 32 cells, that's going to be more than enough. Um, we're then going to take this ur refined uranium, put it in with there, and you can see you get uranium cells, but we need quad uranium cells. Now, this is where things get a little bit more difficult and uh, more time consuming. So I'll be back when we've got all this refined uranium. All right, guys, we've got the 28 refined uranium that we're going to need for this build. So let's get all... Oh, my God, they don't fucking stack. This is ridiculous. Holy shit. Um, Chris. What? Minor problem. It's not letting me reconnect. Why? Failed to log in. Bad login. Oh, that means Minecraft servers are down. What are you fucked, aren't you? <laughs> You're fucked for the moment, I'm afraid. Um, uh, just bear with me one second, YouTube. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, we're going to need some dual uranium cells for these quad uranium cells, which is quite obvious, but we're going to need a ton more copper plates and that's 280 more copper, <laughs> which is an insane amount. Now let's actually get uh, some of this to use. I think I'm going to put all the uranium cells in here for the moment. So at least I've got somewhere to put them, because there is quite a few of them, that's for sure. There we are. Now I've actually crafted them all. It's going to be good. And uh, yeah, that's not going to be enough room. But never mind. We can get 280 more copper for this uh, for these builds. So next page. There's the copper. 280 more copper. And these need, once again, to go into dense copper plates. So, as you can see, guys, it does take a ton of, of copper to do this. There's four and a little bit of stacks. And that's all going to go into the compressor once again to get the dense comp copper plates. So, I'll be back once we've got all them. <laughs> 